Hello, I'm Mrs Llewellyn and you can call me Claire. Now, today I have an unboxing for you. It is a bag that I've had for my anniversary and I'm very excited. So, it is, I probably should have looked this up before I started talking to you, but what's new? It is from Demelier. Demelier. I'm going to say Demelier. If it's wrong, like, type it below and like spell it out how I should say it and I'll have a look up afterwards. So I've got this, uh, it is like for my anniversary but I also got it for my anniversary because my anniversary is just before I go on holiday and this is a holiday bag. Now I'm also unboxing this with um, keeping in mind my pollen unboxing and because I have been reading up and I consider them to be a similar level so here's my pollen. If you haven't seen my unboxing, go take a look because I got very excited. It's very good. I'm very impressed. I've been using this for a couple of weeks now. She's full of my stuff. And I'm loving it. I am loving it. She's perfect. So take a look at it, see what you think. And I'm going to like compare these really because they're the same level, in my opinion. Paris, London. Okay. I think they probably both made in Spain or something like that. Anyway, here it goes. So like I open my my present and I don't do it in front of my partner, I do it in front of you. So it is different. It all came in a box, in a cardboard box, and had a lovely lid. Plain cardboard box. So let's take a look at this. We can't get impressions yet. But it's nice that the box has the branding on it. Okay, okay. A bag of life. For every item you purchase, we fund a set of life-saving vaccines and treatments aimed to save the life of a child in need. And I have been reading up about that. It's wonderful. Also, I've been reading up about their um, apple leather. for the They're going to make more vegan bags, which I think is amazing. If there is a choice... In the brand, if a brand has a choice, I will buy the vegan version. This one's not because they don't have this type in vegan, but like the other bag, their main bag, they do it in vegan now, so I will buy that. Um, if Chanel had vegan, I would buy the Chanel, if Prada did, you know, and so on. That's why I tend to buy a lot of Louis Vuitton because they are coty canvas with minimal leather. Anyway, back to it. So it's a nice box, it's lovely, totally different, really. The other one just came in a box with its own box. This one comes in a General box has a card just like um, pollen actually, and um, with a bag on it and tells you all about them. That's really good. Um, so let's take a look. Let's just so it comes in a bag. Wonderful. So, now if this video jumps a little bit, I'm actually taking pictures in between because, you know, you want to do these things. So just bear with that. So, here we go. And it's a lovely bag. i got to say, I think that Colin has won overall with their box, but this is lovely. This quality, it's amazing. Okay, so first impressions. I don't know whether I should be comparing this to Pollen, if it's fair for each brand, but it's just what I started doing. I just discovered them both at the same time and I feel that they're in the same area. So I'm generally comparing. The, um, the bag's good quality, probably it's not, not as thick and as plush maybe as Pollen, but still it's lovely. It has a lovely tie string, which is Pollen doesn't. And here we go. Oh, guys, guys, are you ready for the ultimate luxury mid-range elegant luxury beach bag? Oh. 
Look at her. She's very light. Wow. Okay, so first thoughts. Exceptionally light. Bigger than expected. Oh, here we are. What's that? Another card. Care instructions made in Spain. She is nice. I wish I could compare this to the low A ones. I really do to show you, but I have never touched one and I've never seen one in person. Um, so I can't tell you, but this looks good. From pictures that I've seen, it's probably thicker than the low A. Yeah, it's definitely thicker at the bottom than that, but um, it's nice. It's nice guys, excuse me in my chill out way I like. Okay, so that's what it looks like. You're gonna fit an awful lot in here. So I'm five foot seven and size twelve. So it's not too big for me. If you were tiny, it may be a little bit larger you'd be fair. So the leather. That's a good feel. Leather is much just like a, a smoother leather, studio, or studio, sorry, it looks smoother, harder than the polymer. The polymer is super soft and, ooh. Okay, so, I like it. It's really nice. I didn't want to get the low A. Did I even say it? I don't know. I didn't want to get the low A. I wanted to fix it. I wanted something different. Something that's just gonna not change with fashion, you know, something that's not greatly in fashion, so it'll never greatly go out of fashion. I plan on using this a long time. And the Melier say that there's lifetime, yeah, what's it called? Lifetime, like a warranty, lifetime, like fix, they will, you know, they'll fix it. I'm chuffed, I'm happy. I absolutely can't compare it with pollen that much as bags because uh, it's totally different. I was just comparing their um, how luxury they make it, their process, what they put in, the box. Do you have a box for this? Just have a bag. So that's that's a downfall for Demelier. But at least, you know, we don't use the boxes anyway. Well, I don't. This, actually, I saw someone I follow on Instagram. Oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot your name. I think you're amazing, Z. Um, I love you. Follow your account. We've just been to Vegas. I'll put your link down there. Um, you said you used your um, dust bag to keep all your stuff safe and then drop something off the top. So thank you very much. I'm going to do the same too. Um, brilliant idea. And I'm thinking of also using this as my travel bag because I'm going to have luggage only just for a week to see my uncles and Corfu. So I think it'll be a great travel bag, especially if I use this to keep all the things safe. Okay, so should we take this off? Let's take this off. Oh, so they open completely. That's handy. Do I wish, I wish there was a crossbody on it? Because I know that some of them have a crossbody. A fair few of them do, and I, and I almost didn't go with this one because of that, but I thought I could fashion something, just if I really wanted to. But this, this could be fine. You know, if I don't be fresh as well, I didn't squidge it a bit. This, this is gonna work out okay. So, first impressions with the Melier. Love it. But at the end of the day, it's just a basket bag and anyone can make a basket bag. The leather's great. It feels soft. It may scratch this stuff compared to pollen, but it is nice. So I probably can't really do a full comparison until I have a leather bag, but there we are. That is lovely. I love it. I will pop up some of my pictures from my holiday with it on here. Um, show you how it goes in my office. I'm not... I'm not that person that was fabulous all the time for my outfit, so you're just gonna have to ignore them. It's real life here. 
There's no Instagram this, it's reality, this is just reality. I can't be bothered, literally. I mean, I can be bothered for you, I very, you know. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend. This is what I look like. This is what I look like. I like that it's very tiny there. See, this is what I didn't want. I didn't want flashy. I just wanted tiny. I'm really, really into this, like, French girl chic. Really into this, like, quiet luxury. That's why I went for this instead of, like... I was looking at Stella McCartney because she's fabulous, but I couldn't get any. Just not available. And the ones that were available were too big, so... There we are. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts. I'll let you know my thoughts after the holiday because I'm literally just taking this back and maybe uh, I'm not taking this white one, my powder, because if anyone knows my uncles, we're going to drink a lot and we're going to get very drunk. So one, my handbag needs to not be precious. So I'm taking my white Michael Kors probably and flat shoes so I don't fall over when drunk. So I'm probably just taking this in my white Michael Kors. So, but you know, by the time you see this video, I'll have been and I'll, I'll know and you'll see all the pictures. So this is going to be day to night. I am taking a big, massive sort of cheaper um, beach bag because like the beach day we have, but this is like round town shopping, going for lunch, going out for the evening. Unless I'm wearing white shoes because I've got my um, sketches black sandals comfort first comfort first and I've got my uh, white Valentino Rockstar bongs really pretty very comfortable but I don't want to be walking like miles in them because of not because they're not comfortable they'd be perfect but because I don't want to damage them I know anyway so this is going to be day tonight hopefully I'll let you know if that worked out I'll let you know if that is actually a ridiculous idea when it came to it and I had to buy a bag when I was there. Who knows? Okay, so there we are. I hope you enjoyed this. Please, please like and subscribe. I gotta say, some people have been lovely. I'm getting some new subscribers and some likes and some comments. You're all amazing. You're all saying brilliant things. You're all so kind. Um, so please go and look at my other videos and um, like and subscribe for more random. Don't know what I'm talking about. Reviews. I'm so excited for holiday. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye. call me Claire. So I'm back off holiday. This is the same video so no time has changed for you however it has for me. So I've been on holiday and I was using this baby which you know because you've literally just watched that so that's okay. So it's been a few weeks. I've come off holiday it's you know it's the summer so I've been using you know I thought I'll leave it for a little bit longer, see how it goes, see if I use this at home. Anyway, I haven't used it at home. No, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it on holiday. Lots of pictures will be up. You know, it was fine. And I couldn't really wear it like this because it was bulky. But I think if I'm ever going to wear it, I might have to like squidge it down a bit and try and do that because it just... It didn't work for me. Now it was lovely um, as my hand luggage and I used it as my hand luggage. I used it as my hand luggage. Yeah, I think I'm going a bit crazy today. And I used my little bag, little dust bag. And I popped everything in it, in there. And, you know, kept it secure. And it looks nice, it's fine. However, on daily use on holiday, that didn't really work out. I found it too much. I found, you know, 
fiddling around in there just too much. But in you know the airport, it was safe, it was good, it was nice, and I filled it to capacity. So, I mean, you know, it worked fine for that. It worked fine as a a travel bag for holiday. And I was hand luggage only because I went to see my uncles, and uh, so I, only, it was, I wasn't there too long. So I had my hand luggage only, and it sat nicely on the top. So you know I could hold it and pull my little case. It looked pretty. The case is black. You know, it, it all went lovely, it looked fabulous, it felt nice, but when it came to it, it was, it was, it was bulky. And, and I took, I didn't take many bags, I like, but I take a small, gosh, what other bag did I take? I took a small bag as well, but we were kind of cash, so I didn't really bother taking my uh, going out bag out. Oh yes, I took my white one, didn't I, with a zip. Um, I didn't bother taking that out, I just kept this and, you know, it was pretty for the evening, it was nice, but I felt like it was too big, like, to be an evening bag, how I imagined in my head. Though it probably looks all right, no one probably thought, you know, anything of it, and, and, you know, I was fine to put it on the floor, it was, you know, all sturdy, it was nice, didn't have to worry about it. Um, so that worked, but in the days, the bag was too much. Um, so I bought this little bag. Just to put my, how cute is that? It was like three euros, just to put my little bits in this little hair bubble in there. You know, like my purse, my, my sunglasses are on me. You know, just my, just bits that I didn't want anyone reaching in because Corfu was really busy. Um, so that was fine. And I put that in there. And then most of the time I had my shirt on top as well because I had like a vest top. And when it got a bit cold or I had to go in somewhere where I had to cover my shoulders, I had, um, take my shirt out and put it on but most of the time my shirt was folded up on top there and ready to go so in that respect it was great I could fit everything I needed in the day and it was a little bit heavy but you know I'm I am fine at carrying it there you know I'm used to carrying bags it was fine but have I made a mistake yeah I think I've made a mistake hey and I know I say it now should I have bought the low Ave? Yes, I should have bought lo the Loewe. Should I have looked up how to say that before I started the beginning of this video? Yes, I should have looked up how to say it before I started the beginning of this video. But I'm not going to hold that against me. So yeah, I made a mistake. Though this was 200 quid, 130 quid with my money off. So, you know, it's not in the same price category. You know, it's not in the same category at all. It's cheaper. And... For, for the price, this is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You want a beach bag, it's sturdy. The price is absolutely great and it's elegant. And I did notice people clock it. I did notice them giving a little look, like, oh, they're not attractive. Like, I noticed that. So that was nice, that's always nice. I like my girls to get their attention. But from what I've seen of people wearing the Loewe Bay, they look comfortable. They look more comfortable than me. There's a bigger strap, it's maybe thinner. I couldn't tell you, I've still never held one, but it looks more comfortable, it looks more practical, and, oh, I should have looked up who she is, I'll tell you here. Now, she's always wearing hers on Instagram, she's fabulous, I love her, should have had one of them, probably should have done, but anyway, she looks great, day and night, day and night, takes it, and this can take you to day and night, through from day to night it can it really can it just felt a bit uncomfortable for me especially when i've been shopping in coffee i've got my bags got this bag couldn't sling it over my shoulder was in the way if, oh could i squidge it oh, i don't know i feel bad so there we are wasn't such as a hit as i thought if i had a bigger budget for a basket bag then yeah i would buy the loe bay or maybe even better i'd probably buy one of the prada ones like not the basket bags the like raffia bags that you can fold down and put in your suitcase because i want to talk about as my hand luggage i would add it in my suitcase and i wouldn't even have to worry about it that's it that is what the perfect bag is i should have had the prada bag but you know not everyone has that budget for a bag that's going to come out for holidays that i'm going to go on a fair few holidays but Oh, I do have budget for bags, I do, I really do, but am I willing to waste it on a beach bag? Priorities, isn't it? 
priorities. If money was no object, yes, I'd have got the Prada bag. Maybe the Loewe, but probably want to get this one. As beautiful as she is, I, what I think they should do. Now, if you're looking, D'Amelia, don't hold it against me, I said that wrong, because I say everything wrong, don't I? So, if you're watching, what I think you should do, you've got so many beautiful colours of these, so many, and this, Bulk Peter store, you need to sell these, like, ugh, you need to sell these bits, and make them slip off, it's like, oh, I need a pink one. You could, you imagine, you could throw them into your, now that would take it as to game changer, that would be game changer, beats Prada, beats Loewe. If I could change this, to match my dressing needs, that would be worth it. Like the pink one, the green one, oh my God, the blue one. Just pop it out, I'm sure you could, I'm like, I'm sure, I'm sure it's just lodged in there. Pop it out, pop your new colour in, Bob's your uncle, ready to go, would have been great. If you're watching this, just consider that, send, send one to me, the idea. Anyway, on the whole, I loved using this. If my money was not even in the question, I would have ordered a different one. But I'm not complaining. She will come on holidays where I want to take her sand luggage. Uh, this British holidays, I'll probably take her. Though I haven't used her at home. On the summer days, I didn't grab her. Like I went shopping to Bist not Bista. <laughs> I wish I went shopping to Bista. I went shopping to Mark MacArthur Glen and I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take my Louis Vuitton Neverville gigantic bag. I'll pop the sides in because I feel like I'm wasting her. I popped her sides in and took her. Didn't feel like she was too big. So you know I've got a new lease of life with that one now because I popped the sides in. I just don't want to buy another one. I feel like having two Nevervilles would be a bit much. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna use her. And if I don't use her, I ain't much, I'm gonna sell her. But I don't wanna sell her either. Anyway, enough of that. I like it. If you wanna spend 200 pounds on one, a basket bag, then this is the one for you, defo. But if you've got more, I'd maybe shop around. Anyway, also, just thought I'd show you. I, where are they? Here they are. Oh, 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 look, and I bought this bought this in Corfu. How nice is this? No brand, like, but it was handmade in Corfu in a nice little bag shop, actually. It was quite expensive, really, for, you know, it was like 100 and something euros. But how nice is this? Look at this. That is beautiful. And it's got, like, this little bit in there to keep all your belongings safe. I thought it was great and there was only one left and I was like, do you know what? I'm having that. Treated myself. Because I'm not a bag snob. I'll wear any bag that's beautiful. And I think this is beautiful. And I will take it on holiday because you can sort of like, like you don't want to squish that, but you can put it into your suitcase and all as well. So, holiday buy. I didn't buy too much on holiday. So I see my uncles. But I did buy some sunglasses when I got back, when I went shopping. So, Bulgari sunglasses, comes in this beautiful box and a nice solid box as well. And what I like, which my last pair of Chanel's didn't do this, they didn't give me a soft box, um, bag. Like, and I'm like, it's a bit tight. They were like nearly 400 quid. Anyway, these ones did and I am in love with these. Check them out. Look at my paw prints. Check them out. Look at this. How beautiful is that? Like, I went in for some Prada ones and at this one thing, I love the Prada ones, the ones that everyone's wearing at the minute with the cool little sides, but they're like 380 pounds in the discount place. And I'm thinking, you know, I do like them and I'm not, you know, opposed to buying expensive sunglasses. Really? I'm going to pay that much for something that everybody's wearing? So I decided to not follow the crowd on this one and got some of these Bulgari. Ooh, 
sunglasses now. I'm loving them. I think they look good. Excuse my face. I've been, I do you know what I'm got. I didn't, I did. I, I love you guys. Take it as a compliment. I didn't get ready for this video. Just got a t shirt. Jeans, I've been out this morning, a bit sweaty. But it's comfort, you know, it's a compliment. I feel comfortable with you. So there we are. How pretty is this? That is, that is all shades of pretty there. Come in black as well, I noticed, but I really, I really fancied this colour because it's nice and, and I've got a little pea head. They are a little bit big, but because they're light, they haven't got the big bulky size, they will sit on top of my head. So I like that. I like them. Do you know what I do want though? I've noticed like this whole 90s vibe come in. I want a really small pair of ones like, you know, like from the Friends episode, but they're all peering into the um, coffin thing. I think the really small ones are coming out and I tried on some hex hexagonal type uh, ones in, in the same shop. What were they? Ray-Bans. And they were nice and they were small but they weren't quite as small as I wanted and I'd already seen this bit of blingage here so I went for it. I went for this instead. I'll wait till the 90s hits more before I get those tinier ones. I'm loving the 90s. I'm loving, I mean I was a teenager in the 90s like it was it's my time this is my era it's coming back it's mine the little t-shirts with the little strappy tops the little st strappy oh i'm hitting it i may be 40 but i'm hitting this fashion i'm hitting it hard not right now i'm chilling but i will right so there's my sunglasses oh one more thing now, when we went away to see my uncles, it was my and my wife's anniversary. And she bought me this bag. It was just, a, you know, we weren't going crazy. That's why I chose this one. Uh, it wasn't going to spend loads on it. And she bought me this and I love, I do love it. It's just, it, you know, the things that are usually the prettiest, pretty to look at. Oh, it's easy to use as you think, is it? Now, I got to the airport. Um, we had some time to waste. We went into Cartier. She bought me this. How nice is that? Now it's it is. I've got pictures from the day where I just kept looking at it and being like, "Oh my god!" Let me turn that ring around. So it is got like little scratches on already. The first scratch. Let me tell you, the first scratch. I felt my soul leave my body, but then, yeah. You get used to it. It is what it is. If you want one of these, got to get used to the scratches. But look at that. A little love ring. So yes, I, I have the best wife ever. Who knew? Are you? I don't know. We just thought, I was like, let's go in, let's look, let's go see. And it's coming up to her big birthday this year. So I was thinking of looking for her so she could pick for later, but. And that's my Tiffany. Does it say Tiffany? It says Tiffany at the bottom. There we are. That's scratched as well. But you know, you you, you don't see the scratches after a while. So anyway, there she is. She's pretty. And I am very blessed. So I'm going to end it there because I have probably rambled on for a long time. Probably going to have to do a lot of cutting and maybe dubbing over <laughs> Let's not talk about how I said low eBay. We'll just forget it. If you want to be mean about it, say it in the comments. Let it out. Let all the steam out if you think I'm silly for saying it wrong. I don't I don't really care. People get things wrong. But as long as you learn and you figure it out, then I'll, I've got you. So it's all good. So there we are. That is me done for this bag. I have ordered myself a few things, so I'll be back soon. There she is. She did be good for holiday. Probably won't use her at home. Have a lovely day, night, wherever you are. Enjoy and I'll speak to you soon.